There was a time in this ministry when Prophet T.B. Joshua decided to take a rest. Hello my family, welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to you the truth. Welcome guys to this special episode of my video again today. And right in today's video guys, I'm actually here with our mommy Evelyn, alright, the wife of Prophet T.B. Joshua. And in today's video guys, um, the wife of Prophet T.B. Joshua is going to be sharing a story of while the man of God and Prophet T.B. Joshua was alive, alright, that the disciples were actually fighting even him in the church, alright, they were fighting her and also fighting um, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. So you're going to be um, listening to this full story from our lips. All right. But before we dive into the video, all right. Um, for those of you coming new to my channel, kindly the subscribe button, subscribe to this channel. And if you have not like, um, you know, the video, please hit the like button, like today's video, guys. And please, just something that I want to take note of, please. For those of you that like commenting, I will always prefer listen to what I say in the video too before you start commenting. Please, it's always very important. Watch this. Do you love me more than this? Do you have an, a, a relationship with me? We don't have relationship with a stranger. We don't have relationship with strangers. Even if you do, it has to start in a weak form. For every relationship to stand, there must be mutual love and trust. today because I like the zeal at which Prophet T.B. Joshua does the work of God. The passion behind it. I like it. That I love him as a man. Yes, I do. <laughs> Jesus asked Peter, do you love me more than this? Many came into Prophet T.B. Joshua's life loving his job, loving his gift, loving the grace of God in his life. And they wanted to tap from it. And they do. But others want to get it off. Not even liking him. Prophet T.B. Joshua, you will love Evelyn. I tell you something. There was a time in this ministry when Prophet T.B. Joshua decided to take a rest. Not in his faith to his God. But he decided to stay inside and watch event and on that faithful Sunday morning like today right there at the walkway we were attending to people like my people are sitting down there those who are coming to the prayer line Evelyn was there too and somebody said oh I wish daddy could come out to the service today I wish Daddy could come out to the service today. Referring to Prophet T.B. Joshua. And to my amazement. Somebody quickly shut her off. Can you daddy go watch any service? At in she. What is daddy coming to do in the service? We are doing it. We are doing the job. I was silent. My people of God, I went in. And I did my little arm a ball to the old guy himself. <laughs> yes. I gossiped to him. Said, he said you don't need to come out to the service again. That they are doing your job for you. And the next service, the prophet came out to the service. I won. <laughs> I say something to you again today. In this house, be you a worker, be a disciples, at one time or the other. Prophet T.B. Joshua has asked you to take your leave. That is the truth. 
But what do you see and hear? I am sorry, sir. I am sorry I can't help myself. You are the only one who can help me. I am sorry, sir. I have no place to go. I have no home. My people have rejected me. My family have rejected me. Those are the words you hear. But every holiday, every Christmas, every New Year, Easter, you see those relationships, their people, their family, they claim they have rejected them. We come here taking bags of rice with cash gifts on their behalf. At the end of every service like today, you will see them hanging around with them in all corners of the church. The families that rejected them. of God, praise the Lord. Can someone stop talking about how many years he or she spent in the synagogue? You are only having a relationship with God and it's never in vain. It is not in vain. Many have built houses. I am working for God. Many have trained their siblings out of higher institutions working for God. Many have huge bank accounts. They are working for God. I speak the truth. I travel out with some people out of this ministry. And when we go to our destination, Problem paying our hotel bill because the credit card for the ministry wasn't working. A disciple dipped her hand inside her pocket, brought out her credit card, and paid. I froze. Our relationship with God. She was being refunded anyways all right my family there you have it with um the woman of god the prophetess evelyn as uh, she shares the story of how she was all right some of the disciples were fighting uh even when the man of god prophet tb joshua was alive so this woman is really a strong woman some of those disciples i believe they are part of the people that are against or they are behind this um you know documentary so I I'm, I'm not saying that's true, but I I'm just believing. It's my own thought, right? It's my own thought, all right. But this woman has faced a lot, and she understands. She understands what she has gone through and what these disciples do. So for those of you that are still talking concerning this issue, I hope by now you have been, you if you know that you think that the man of God prophetic Joshua is fake. I have had money that it better you keep quiet than put yourself in the trouble you don't want to put. Alright, but if you think he's a true man of God, it's good if you defend him, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I believe you are blessed. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.